the rabbit hole just keeps getting deeper and deeper for FTX and Sam Bankman Freed, and it is looking very bad for him. This new article highlights that prosecutors are alleging Sam Bankman Freed spent FTX money to invest $400 million into this obscure venture capitalist firm. This is an article from Cointelegraph. We're going to go over the details in this. I'll share my thoughts, my opinions at the end of the video as usual. And I'll have a link to the article down in the description below. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. U.S. prosecutors allege that Sam Bankman frieds Modulo investment was likely made using misappropriated money from FTX deposits by customers. Authorities in the United States might have discovered yet another possible component of Sam Bankman Freed's cryptocurrency empire. U.S. federal prosecutors have alleged that Bankman Freed has used money from FTX exchange to invest in the venture capital firm Modulo Capital, according to the New York Times. As previously reported, Sam Bankman Freed's hedge fund and FTX's sister firm, Alameda Research, invested a total of $400 million in Modulo in 2022, which became one of the most significant investments by Sam Bankman Freed. The funding has drawn particular attention from regulators due to Modelo, a relatively unknown firm, raising substantial capital during challenging times for the crypto market. According to the latest findings by Sam Bankman frieds investigators, the Modulo investment was likely made using criminal pr proceeds or misappropriated money that FTX customers had deposited with the exchange. The prosecutors said that Modulo had become an important part of the investigation. FTX lawyers are now reportedly eyeing Modulo's assets as they scramble to recover the billions of dollars from repaying their customers, investors, and other creditors. So far, the whereabouts of Sam Bankman frieds $400 million investment are unclear. Modulo Capital was founded in March 2022 by three former executives at Jane Street, a New York-based firm that once employed Bankman Freed and Alameda CEO Caroline Ellison. One of the founders, Duncan Reagan's Yu, was reportedly only two years out of college. Another Modulo co-founder, Xiaoyun Zhang, known as Lily, was a former Wall Street trader with some ties with Sam Bankman Freed. Modulo is also known to run its operations from the same bohemian condo community where Sam Bankman Freed resided. The news comes amid U.S. Commissioner for Commodity Futures Trading Commission, Christy Goldsmith Romero, questioning the due diligence work done by venture capitalists and money managers who funded FTX. Why did they turn a blind eye to what should have been really flashing red lights, Romero asked. Previously, the Deputy Prime Minister of Singapore admitted that the government-owned investment firm Temasek faced reputational damage due to their investment in FTX. Now, as far as for my point of view on this, the fact that they knew each other, I don't think that's necessarily the big story here because think about it, if you're gonna be investing in other people's projects and things, a lot of it tends to come down to, well, who do you know? Or who do you know who they know? And it's networking. So something like that is not that surprising to me. The fact that this individual was only two years out of college, again, we're seeing very, or not super young, but pretty young base individuals such as Sam Bankman Freed. I believe what he's around 30 years old of age or so, and him leading this very prominent, at the time, uh, cryptocurrency exchange, one of the top cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. It's like, all right, well, you know, we're seeing this kind of movement taking place. Does it mean that they're the most qualified? I think it's a circumstantial based thing, but obviously the more money that's involved, you want to have someone that's got more wisdom and uh, there's a little bit more security coming behind that too because they're less likely to make a significant mistake. But even the most experienced of people can make mistakes that have significant ramifications across the market as well as for their own personal companies. So, you know, we got to understand that mistakes happen. We are human. What's going on here, though, based on the analysis, uh, what the prosecutors are looking into, we're talking about a substantial amount of money. And I would say that there's a very significant chance that those were misappropriated, that those were customer funds. We're not talking about $10 million here. We're not talking about $50 million even. We're talking about $400 million. Such a substantial amount of money suggests that that would be coming from your investors. Where else would they be getting $400 million? I mean, just really try to wrap your brain around that, okay? What could you spend <clears> that costs $50 million? 
Think about that. Try to spend $50 million on something. Now spend $100 million on something. It's just absolutely absurd. So $400 million more than likely came from customer funds. This is something that's more than likely going to end up having Sam be in even more hot water unless they can find out where else this came from. But as it is right now, it definitely looks like it was being misappropriated. Do you guys have any theories of where else this could have came from? What are your thoughts, your opinions on this? Feel free to share those down in the comments below. Again, this article, I have the link to it down in the description. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to We Love SafeMoon.com, Victor Vegas, SafeMoon Oz for being higher level patrons. I do YouTube for a living. So if you guys want to show your support a little extra for as little as a dollar a month, there is a link down in the description below. You can technically cancel any time that you want as well. And thank you also to my YouTube members for your support. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. God bless, and we will see you in the next episode.